What's up, family? Good morning, Slayers. All right, so this is going to be a very different, um, well, not very different, but a different cash stuffing because it's not going to be with physical cash. Um, I'm leaving everything in the bank and I'm just going to electronically transfer the money into the proper savings accounts, put it all where it belongs. We're just not going to be dealing with physical money dollars, okay? So it's more of an allocation video than it is a cash stuffing. So um, I took, um, I'm traveling to New Jersey. Let me start there. And I didn't want to travel with my um, budget binder with like all my cash envelopes with all that money on me because it is going to be quite a long trip to New Jersey. I'm going to be there for a while. So I wanted to bring the money with me, but I don't want to put it, like carry it on me or put it in my luggage and then God forbid my luggage gets lost or somebody gets in my luggage and then all my money and all my hard work goes down the drain. So I just took all the money out of my envelopes and deposited them into the bank, into their appropriate savings accounts. That way, as I'm bringing my budget binder and packing it away, even if somebody does get into my bag or my bag gets lost or stolen or whatever, all they're getting are some empty envelopes. So, um, first I'm going to go over my budget with you guys. Um, I did get a paycheck today of $804.97. And first we always, you know, take out for our bills. So for our Amazon Prime, $12.99, we set aside, followed by our Canva subscription. We set away $13.99 for that. Disney Plus gets is six dollars and 99 cents uh my car insurance i had put away 156 dollars but they just sent me a text message saying that i only owe them 127 dollars so i'm guess i've i've reached like the you know how when you get to the last couple months of your insurance plan or premium or however they divvy it out it always gets a little bit less well we're at that stage now so i only owe them 127 dollars but i budgeted out 156 so that money is still put to the side got a couple extra dollars um and then still putting away money for disney pretending like it's a bill so i put away 162 for that um and then for savings i took 10 percent of my check which was 80 dollars and 49 cents that'll be going into my savings account and then for the last paycheck of july our second paycheck of july we are still doing the Hot Girl Summer Savings Challenge. So I set aside $150 for that. And when we open up my computer to start moving money around, we'll pay that bill off. Well, not pay it off, but put all the money that we um, I collected for this savings challenge. And we will put that towards my Credit One credit card bill. Um, and then for after all the bills all that money was set aside that left us with $222.51. So not much to play play around with in order for like my sinking funds and my cash envelopes. But there, again, there wasn't that much that I really needed to put away because for one, I only put away $15 for gas because I'm not taking my car with me. We are flying back to Jersey. That 27 hour drive is no joke, guys. And I was not, not about to do it again. So I didn't need to fill up my gas tank, so I only set aside 15 to uh, get me through until we hop on the plane in a couple days. So I only put 15, which took me to a half a tank. So that's good until we leave. Um, groceries, self-care, and household, I didn't put budget anything for those because, again, we're going back to Jersey, and I didn't need to buy groceries. Self-care, I already got my wax and all of that good stuff. So I didn't set aside anything for that. And then household were pretty stocked up on everything. So I didn't put away any money for that. Now for our sinking funds, Tom, Tom and Theo, I didn't stock, put away anything for miscellaneous. Um, Tom, Tom and Theo both got their usual $10. Uh, back to school got its usual 40. That will never, ever, ever change. <laughs> I don't care how much money I have to play around with for sinking funds. Tom, Tom, Theo, and back to school will always get their money, okay? Always get their money off top. So um, I decided to put 25 away for beauty because I'm just going to get my hair braided when I get to Jersey because I tried to find a hair braider out here, guys, so that I can have it done before I even get out there. But 
it didn't work out. So I'm just going to get my hair done when I get back to Jersey. Um, retirement, we're putting away 15. Uh, new car, we're putting away 15. New house, we're putting away 15. And emergency, we're putting away 10. And travel, I am putting away $115. I have enough money for um, Theo to get his passport. So now I need to start saving up to get my passport. Um, Tom Tom, his dad is paying... Well, his dad, I say it like I have more than one baby dad. But <laughs> my husband is paying for Tom Tom's passport. We try to split everything with the kids. So my husband pays for one child. I pay for the other child. So I already have Theo's money for his passport. My husband has Tom Tom's money for his passport. That way we will be all set and ready to go when this cruise rolls around for the Bahamas. Everyone will have a passport. But I need to start saving money for mine. And then business, we're giving $5. And then for birthdays, Black Friday and Christmas, they're each getting 10. And then my envelope um, that I haven't really talked about with you guys much, but I think once I mentioned it, but my Exodus savings account is for when we officially, officially move from Colorado. So I've decided to start putting money away for that. So $15 is going into Exodus, which leaves us with $2.51 which will be going into my student loans account. So now I'm gonna open up my computer and let's get straight into this cash, this money allocation, cash allocation, money placement. I don't know what you call it, but we about to do it. Let's put the money where it belongs in the right place in the accounts. Okay, so here we are at uh, my Navy with Navy Federal all opened up. Um, I don't know why, but it always trips me out to see Space Force <laughs> that they added up here. Like, I didn't think that that was a real thing. Like, I know Trump said that he was making it, but it just it just didn't seem like it was going to be a real thing. Because especially he named it the Space Force. But yeah, it's right there. Does anyone know anyone who works for the Space Force? Like, what do they do? Because I feel like it's that job where, like, you know how in, like, scary movies and stuff, or not scary movies, but, like, those science fiction-y, the world is about to end, movies, aliens are attacking, you have those people who are just in an office, like, way out in Alaska somewhere, who nobody really pays attention to or cares about, like, no one visits their division at all, and they just sit there with computer screens in front of them all day, and all they do is listen for weird noises in space. Like, I feel like that's what the Space Force does. That's their job. It could be a really fulfilling and legitimate job that does a lot of things. They probably saved us from so many alien attacks and meteorites. But I just feel like they're in a room just listening for strange noises. But okay, um, here's my checking. And it says that we have $946.65 in there. Which is a little more than what my paycheck was. Only because I took the $100 and $57 that I had put away for the first week of the Hot Girl Summer Savings Challenge, I put, deposited that back into my checking account. That way we can electronically make that payment onto my Credit One card. So that is what that extra money is. But, so right now we wanna go into transfers. Uh, where are you? There we go. All right, so transfers. And we're transferring from my checking and we're putting it into savings and you have to go far. Bring my binder back over to me and I'm drinking a, a root beer. So that's what you hear with the ice all moving around in my cup. All right, so into savings. And the amount is $80.49. Okay. Um, and then we scroll down some. We click out of here. And we hit continue. Make transfer. Fantastic. All done.
then we're going again from our checking into Tom Tom's. We'll just go straight on down the line. So Tom Tom gets $10. I wonder what the delay is. Oh, Triple M just down, put up another video. I gotta watch that. Let me hurry up and get done so I can watch that. All right, um, so that gets $10, so we'll put that away. Then we'll make transfer. And done. We are moving right along, guys. Back to school is getting, well, well, beauty is next. No, not from beauty, we're going from checking to beauty. All right, and beauty is getting 25. There we go. Make transfer. Done. Um. Black Friday. I love how, and I say this with all the sarcasm in my body. But I love how like for part of my savings accounts, like they have them all in alphabetical order, but then like Tom Tom and Theo's are way up at the top and all out of place, but then they put the rest in order, like pick a struggle, Navy Federal. Please pick a struggle. Y'all either gonna alphabetize properly or just don't do it at all. Like, are you putting it in order of like the last four of the account number? Like, what is it? What was the method to y'all's madness? Cause it don't make sense to me. Right. My internet is really just not cooperating today. Or maybe it's just because I'm kind of in a rush. Because <laughs> I'm over here like, move faster, load faster. All right. So we did Black Friday. Now to birthdays. We're not putting anything in birthdays. Theo had his birthday and all the birthday money is gone. Okay, it's all gone. So we're skipping birthdays and we're going to Christmas, which is getting 10. Well, actually, no, we're not skipping birthdays because last paycheck, I didn't put any money into birthdays, but this paycheck, I am putting money into birthdays. I almost confused myself. So circle back around the birthdays. So from checking to gym on birthdays. All right, ten dollars. And the next birthday coming up that I'm putting away money for is my own birthday. I don't know where I'm doing, where I'm going, but I'm doing something. I'm gonna go someplace. All right, and then from checking to, what's next, what's next, what's next? Uh, we did Christmas. Back to school, finally. Do you guys see the number? $700.24 we have put away for back to school. And that is all about to be gone in a matter of weeks because it is already back to school time, guys. Like, I feel like summer just really kind of started. Like, 
we're not really started because we are like in the end of July. But maybe it's just because like we're finally gonna be doing summer kind of stuff, like going out and doing things and going swimming in fun places. That I kind of feel like summer is just starting. But it's already back to school time. Going into Walmart and Dollar Tree and all the back to school supplies they got up like it's really that time, guys. It's really that time. Yeah, your book bags, shoes, new socks, like, ugh. It felt like it took forever. Save up all that money. It's about to be gone in no time at all. So that gets forty dollars. Don't mind my rant. It's out of sadness. <laughs> and how fast money leaves you. Like, why don't you just want to stick around and stay for a little bit, money? Like, why do you have to leave me so soon? All right. So from checking, moving along. What's the next account we need to give money to? Uh, retirement gets his $15. And make transfer. And from it's a new car. Okay, and then I'm finally able to, I'm putting money into my student loan account. Um, this $84 that is in there, that is the money that was left over from my savings jar and uh, my piggy bank. Because you guys know every time we do a cash stuffing, whatever money I have left over in my um, envelopes, I would put into my cash jar or into my piggy bank if it was changed. And I went because like my cash envelopes, I didn't want to travel around with this piggy bank or with a cash jar. So I went and cashed the change in as well as um, counted up all the money that was inside the jar. I had $63 in the savings jar and in change I had $22. So I put that money into my student loan account, savings account, and to now we are adding the two dollars and fifty one cents to zero out our budget all right continue all right boom that is done and what is next Y'all see all the savings accounts, like, goodness gracious. When I went to the bank 
to put all this money in there. Like, thankfully, I got a very patient teller who did not mind <laughs> that I had all these different accounts that I was putting money into. And she just did her job with a Coke and a smile. I appreciate you so much, Holly. So much. Because <laughs> some people, you wonder how they even got the job. Like, why are you here? We both know that you want to quit. Your attitude says you want to quit. I want you to quit. But Holly put the money into each and every individual account with a Coke and a smile. All right. So uh, we're done with emergency. Into Exodus is getting 15. Rhythms of the people. Yo, I can't sing, but every time I say Exodus, Bob Marley's song always pops into my head, and I just have to sing it out. I'm not slurping in the video, Drea. It's not polite. All right, almost done guys, almost done. Uh, now we are on to travel. And travel is getting $15, yes. And I think we only have one or two left, maybe not even. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Ugh, this is just ridiculous <laughs> to have these many accounts. But I'm budgeting, so it's all right. Um, business. All right, and then after business, we're just going to put away the money for our Hot Girl Summer Savings Challenge. And business is getting $5. I don't know why I'm scrolling to the bottom now. Uh, and I really just need to make a whole separate account period for my business because the money that's left in it is like what I set aside for taxes and if I need to like go buy supplies money comes out from there so I just really need to make business have its own separate checking account and savings account but that is for another time all right so from checking so we're done all our sinking funds all our sinking funds are finished and now we're going to put away our $150, well, no, our $162 for Disney. Like, you'll see how it just goes in and out of alphabetical order. Like, Disney Cruise should not be all the way down here. Oh, uh, 162 All right, that is done. And I know you're probably like, you should have more in your Disney account. You're right. However, when we got down to the last $1,000 for the Disney Cruise, like like $900 and some change. Uh, Thomas got like this new uh, American Express credit card that he was dead serious. He wanted to get his points for. And they were like, if you spend $4,000 within this period of time, then you'll get X amount of points. So he really wanted his points. So he paid off the rest of the cruise on his brand new American Express. And so I've just been setting the money aside to 
finish paying off my half of the cruise. So come August, okay, August, we will be will be our very last payment to Thomas for our portion of this cruise. And then even after I'm done paying it off, I'm still going to put money away. Like I still have that bill for pocket money and all that stuff. All right. But I think that's it. Yeah. We put away our money for Disney. We put away our money for savings. Um, our hot girl summer savings money is still there so that we can go pay that bill. And okay, we can try to, let's see if we can pay the bill right now without it showing y'all all my account information. Okay. Okay, guys. So I tried to do it through um, bill pay on my Navy Federal account, but I don't, it just, it was showing too much. So we had to go into my um, Credit One account on their website. And as you can see, the balance has gone up since the last time. I just looked at it or the last time I pre in the last cash stuffing which I'll link up in the atmosphere what I said it was the last time I checked it was like $412 and some change but it's now gone up to $420 I think when I was at work one day I spent a little extra for like lunch or something and I was like oh I'm about to pay this card off anyway so I'll just put it on here which I need to get out of that habit like I need to put my credit cards in the freezer on ice or just not carry them with me so yes we are going to do a standard payment which I could have done an express payment but really I'm just I'm not in a rush but then you have to like talk to people through like a chat thing if you want to make an express payment like they do a lot the absolute most okay so, whew, other amounts, we'll go down here. So, $150 from the first week, $150 from this week, plus the extra $7. We are putting $307. Uh, no, $07. There we go. $307 is what we are paying onto our Credit One credit card. Hit continue. And submit payment. Come on. Load, load, load. All right, guys, so we have stuffed everything. We've paid our credit, my credit one bill with our hot girl savings, hot girl summer savings money. Um, so now just an overview of what everything is and I will update my tracker later. Um, everything left in checking is now bill money. So we will not be touching that. Savings has $175.84. Once upon a time, I had over $1,000 in savings. But once you touch it, it just seems like you just keep touching it and keep touching it and keep touching it. And that's what happened. And so now I'm starting from scratch. But hey, it's a learning experience. You live and you learn. I will do better. <laughs> um, Tom Tom and Theo now have $175. Yeah, no, wait. They should have the same amount. So what did I do wrong? Because one has 185 and one has 175. So I put extra money into one of theirs. I'll fix it later. But Beauty now has $80. Black Friday. Um, Beauty now has $85.51. Black Friday has $95. Uh, birthdays has 10, Christmas has 95, back to school has $740.21, which is here, you guys can't even see it, hold on, hold on, there we go, back to school has $740.24, Retirement has 
$755.32. New car has $391.69. New house has $385.19. Student loans has $86.51. Emergency has $20.07. Exodus has $15.08. Travel $159.98. Business has $36.32. And Disney Cruise, as you can see, the money is already gone because I just forwarded the $325 that was in there to Thomas for which I just did the calculation, my last payment for my portion of the Disney Cruise. Because when he paid it off on his credit card, like I said, it was under $1,000. And so when you split that in half, I have already paid my share. So <laughs> that was my last payment for that. So now everything that I save from this moment forward for Disney Cruise will be pure, pure spending money, which I'm kind of like more excited now to be saving for the Disney Cruise. I even have a Disney savings challenge that I found on Pinterest of every week saving $25 or if you're doing it bi-weekly, because of your paycheck saving $50. So I'm going to do that. And it's a 52 week challenge. So by the time you get done, you save, I believe it was 2,500. I have the picture upstairs. If I can, and I find it again on Pinterest, I'll try to link, show it up here on the screen for you guys. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I always say, all 2021 and beyond, we are solving Blah. I can never get this right. All 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our pro own problems, and making things happen for ourselves. Period. In my city girl voice. But alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family. We, we're we trying to get our lives together over here. Like, can't you tell? We're trying to get it together. <laughs> but okay guys. Bye.